Okay, day two, and today is Disneyland all day. <laughs> Y'all, it's been seven years. I feel like the lady from Titanic, she was telling her story and she was like, it's been 80 whatever years, but yes. We are finally here on the streets of Disneyland. I'm so excited. I see that. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> Look at the castle, guys. Oh my gosh. It's so exciting. We stopped to Jolly Holiday first because Savannah, no, Cheyenne wanted to get some coffee. So. She's in there getting it, and we're just sitting out here waiting until she comes. How excited are you I'm for today, excited. Savannah? I feel like I'm at Disneyland now. I know. I told them, I said, it's been seven years since we were at Disneyland, Disney World in 2018. But it's beautiful. I know. I want to cry. It's so beautiful I here. Saw, I saw Madame World. I was like, I know. Everything is big, is it? Like, it was, <laughs> I feel like it needs to be small. First ride of the day. Y'all, there is actual construction over here at the treehouse. So we keep hearing drills and all that. Heard that? Yeah. I don't want to hear that when I'm at Disneyland. Yep, they're up there working. How many are there? I know. Everyone of them left. Good. Ha ha. Cool me, 
to the castle, y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're smiling like it's a picture. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful, y'all? I'm so excited to be here. Oh, and look at that he drew. Hey guys so I had to film the ending at home because things got a little hectic I didn't vlog the rest of the day so I'm like let me just finish out the video at home anyway so this is not clickbait we actually did get escorted out of Disneyland but it may not be for what you think so as you guys can see we were excited, happy to get to Disneyland because we had not been there in seven years. We went to California Adventure the day before, stayed there all day, and this day we had planned on being at Disneyland all day long, right? Okay, so we go in, she had a coffee at the Jolly Holiday, and let me go back a little bit. So when Cheyenne was 15, she found out she was allergic to eggs, so she could eat cookies or cake or anything with eggs baked in it but an actual egg like egg fried rice or an egg omelet anything that of that sort she can't eat she can eat french toast which is weird but yeah so she had her coffee at the jolly holiday and we rode on a few rides then we got in line for matterhorn and we were in line and she got quiet and i'm like are you okay and she said my throat feels sore and it hurts kind of like it felt when I used to eat eggs that's what she said and I'm like okay well there's no eggs in the coffee but I started thinking I'm like sometimes for the cold brew they use for the foam they use egg powder in it I know at Starbucks sometimes they do and she has to get it without so I'm thinking I'm like I wonder if that had eggs in it so I'm like, okay, are you able to breathe? And she could. She said, it just hurts. I said, okay, take an allergy pill. So she took one of her allergy pills. We're still waiting in line and things weren't getting better for her. And she's like, mom, I'm just going to go to the first aid. Maybe they have Benadryl or something like that that I can take. I may be sleepy, but at least it'll help. So I said, okay. So once she got out of line, we got so quiet, Savannah and I, because we were like, we should go with her. But she didn't want us to go with her. She didn't want to ruin the day. We're texting her in line and she's like, I'm fine. I'm just sitting here for a minute. Get on the ride and get off. I'm like, no, um, we're going to find her. And Savannah was like, oh, heck yeah. So we went to the first aid and she was like on her way out. And she said, mom, they gave me Benadryl. Let me just sit down for maybe like 30 minutes, see if it kicks in and I feel better. I'm like, okay. So she's like, you guys can go off and do whatever you want to do. And I'm like, no, I mean, yes, she's an adult, but she's still my baby. So I'm going to sit there with her until she feels better. And I'm like, Savannah, you can go off and do whatever. But Savannah was like, no, we're going to sit here. So we sat there and you no know, people watching. And I had stopped vlogging at that point, just focusing on Cheyenne. So we were there maybe about 10 minutes. And she's like, mom, this is getting worse. I got to go back to first aid. So I'm like, okay, so we all go in there with her and I think she's having a panic attack because she knows she's not feeling good and she's at Disneyland. She didn't want to ruin things for us. So, you know, she tried to downplay it when she really should not have because I don't care what, I don't care where we at, your health is more important and you're my child, child so to speak, even though you're my adult child, I'm going to worry about you instead of where we are at. But 
you know, I get it. She didn't want to ruin the day for us or she thought she was ruin the, ruining the day. We go there and they took her vitals. It was fine, but she just didn't feel good at all. And they decided to call the ambulance to take her to the hospital. I told her, I said, you know what, go and then maybe they can give you IV. I don't, I don't know, but go and we'll meet you there. So she gets on the truck and we're standing there watching them haul her into the ambulance and where we were it's like we have never seen this part of Disneyland before we were behind Space Mountain we seen people on their break at work out smoking a cigarette on their lunch I mean we seen parts of Disneyland that we are really not meant to see and at that moment I didn't care if it ruined the magic because I'm like my daughter is more important. Savannah could have rode in the ambulance with her and I could have just got in the car and went to the hospital. But they said once she got there, she wouldn't be allowed to go in the room for a while or something like that. And Savannah was like, no. And so Cheyenne had her phone with her. She was able to breathe. So, you know, they hooked up the oxygen, all that. Hauled her off and all I can think of, okay, we're booking it back to the hotel because I gotta go be with my baby. So Cheyenne was texting us the whole time and she was saying, you know, she don't want to ruin things for us for us to go ahead and stay at the park and she'll just uber back to the hotel and i'm like um i don't know who you think you talking to but that's not happening on my watch so i'm on my way out and i'm thinking okay i'll call back and talk to whoever on the phone at disneyland and let them know what happened and you know go from there shine is texting me the whole time texting me and savannah we're in a group chat and she's like okay i can breathe or whatever the feeling is starting to get a little bit better and once she said that i'm like okay let me stop to city hall so we went in and let me tell you carl from city hall he was amazing we walked in we told him the whole story and we said we don't feel good about us being here enjoying the rest of our day while my daughter is out you know having this medical issue that's going on and he's like okay i'm just expecting them to maybe give us tickets to come back the next day because the next day we we're free we were just going to take a rest day and hang out in la probably go to griffith observatory i think that's what it's called because we'd never been so that's what we planned on doing that next day because the day after that we would have to go to our second hotel for a youth convention so that's what we were hoping to do so we get in there talk to carl carl he was so amazing i gave him the most wonderful review that i could <laughs> on the disney app or whatever and i even called in and told them about him not only did they give us tickets to come back the next day he pretty much gave all of us a genie pass and he, it's funny because he asked he said um so what ride would you like to ride mickey's runaway railroad or rise and we were like uh rise and not that we wouldn't like to ride the other one it's just that now that my kids are older we avoid toontown at all costs i mean when my kids were younger we would spend the majority of our day when we went to disneyland in toontown so i get that you know i'm not knocking it because you gotta have something for the little ones to do and stuff like that so i get that but when we go now we avoid it you know so not that we won't ride it eventually when we go back but it just wasn't high on our priority list so and then he also gave us lightning passes when you stand in a lightning lane is it called lightning pass i don't know lightning lane passes to three other attractions of our choice after he did all that got our tickets he canceled our tickets for that day and i'm making sure savannah is still texting cheyenne because i'm like if it gets worse we wrapping this up immediately and i'm leaving and at that point she had told savannah that the doctor said she probably went through the worst of it her body's you know just coming down they gave her IV, and you know she was breathing fine her vitals were fine that's the reason why i stopped at city hall instead of hightailing it out of disneyland and just calling back whatever so don't think i just thought about oh what about our tickets if this was life and death screw them tickets we're going to the hospital or screw disneyland you know you know what i mean you know Carl after he finished doing everything it was funny before when I told him the story I you know I guess I was 
I don't, I don't think I was about to cry, but I was like, kind of like shaking and nervous or whatever and wanting to wrap it up, not really knowing what they were going to say. I know Disney, a lot of times they help out people and they fix issues or whatever. So I really didn't know exactly what to expect other than I knew I wanted to get a ticket to come back. Before all this happened, Carl was like, oh no, we taking care of this. It is not happening on my ship. Mm -mm, not today, Satan. And he was just so funny. He made us feel relaxed and, you know, he, he was amazing. I guess they called to the Jolly Holiday and they said, no, it wasn't egg powder in there. So I'm thinking either it was and they didn't know it or it was just something in the coffee that caused her to have an allergic reaction which was really sad because she was excited to have this coffee she said it was good we all tried it it was good it took maybe like 30 40 minutes and like i said we were still in communication with cheyenne cheyenne was telling us that they were about to discharge her which she didn't have to pay for the ride to the hospital or the hospital stay this was all on disney's bill mind you they did give her a prescription for EpiPen because she used to carry one around a long time ago, but she stopped because she got older and she knows she don't eat eggs, but now she's gonna start carrying the EpiPen around because as you can see, she clearly needs it. So he finished everything. He had our tickets in there for the next day. That day's tickets were null and void. And instead of them telling us, okay, here you go, bye, Disney don't play. They wanted to make sure, even though they knew we were telling the truth because, you know, I'm sure they called to the nurse's office or whatever you call it, the first aid office to find out what happened. Disney don't play. So Carl, we, we grabbed everything. And not only did he walk us to the gate, <laughs> we went through the turnstile. He went on the other side and then he handed us our tickets for the next day. So see, I'm not lying. This ain't clickbait. We technically did get escorted out of Disneyland. But like I said, not for what you probably think. I'm not going to cause trouble and not be able to go back to the place I love to visit. After that, we got Savannah's car, went to pick up Cheyenne. She was already discharged by then. I guess she had just walked out. She had been standing out there maybe like three minutes and we picked her up and you could just tell in her face she was exhausted. She felt bad, but we told her what was going on and we were like, don't worry about that. You know, we'll explain more later when you're feeling better. She said she was hungry. We grabbed her something to eat, went back to the hotel and she ate and she slept mainly the whole day and i wanted her to rest and relax i didn't even think about picking up the camera because like i keep saying yes she's an adult but she's still my baby and i wanted to make sure she was okay plus i know she felt bad i didn't want her to feel bad and i didn't feel like she was doing anything or whatever she i mean she felt bad but i'm like don't feel bad things happen by that evening she was feeling a lot better but we still continued to rest because we were like thinking okay well maybe go to downtown disney to have dinner and whatever and we were like no let's just stay here let her continue to rest relax and that way we can be refreshed mainly her for the next day so then the next day we were able to go to Disneyland and spend the whole day there, enjoy the ride. We rode Rise of the Resistance twice because of our Genie Pass or whatever you want to call it, Genie Plus. And then when they had the fireworks, when Fantasmic was going, it was a 10 minute wait, which was mainly just walking through the queue. Then we just hopped right on the ride. So yeah, you guys, um, that was pretty much it. That's the story about how we got escorted out of Disneyland. But stay tuned for the next video because that will be a full day of Disneyland. Yay, I'm so excited to show it to you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if your family member is allergic to something, please keep an EpiPen. We learned. Yes. Bye guys. Talk to you soon.